Hey friends, hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Janelle J and I'm here to help you decorate. Today we're gonna talk about the front foyer area. A lot of times people forget about the front foyer area because you're just so used to wanting to spruce up the rest of the house, but you cannot forget about the foyer. It's the place where people feel the most welcoming. It's where people will know what your vibes are in your home. Um, it's the first place people step into when they walk into your house. So you wanna make sure that you have a really nice foyer area. It doesn't have to be accented too much, but you definitely want to have some pieces that kind of just represents you, your family, whoever lives in the space, um, you want to make sure that it just is all encompassing and welcoming. So the first thing we want to add to the foyer area is a runner. Um, a runner just makes the home feel cozy, warm, and inviting. But before you can add a runner, make sure you measure. You want to know how long your runner will run <laughs> because you want to make sure that it's long enough so that guests can kind of wipe off their feet on a rainy day, but also that it isn't too long where it's feeding into another part of the house. So here we have a non-slip runner, which I also purchased from Rugs USA. Um, this non-slip runner was about $17. The reason why you want to add a non-slip runner under your actual runner rug is because you won't have furniture sitting on this runner. So you wanna make sure that when your guests come in, they're not sliding everywhere, that it actually just stays put. So this runner is actually shorter than the actual rug that I purchased. So now we're gonna lay the runner rug just right above that non-slip. And this runner rug I actually found on Rugs USA as well for less than $100. Um, it's a two by eight rug. I really like the patterns. You also want to find a rug that has some really cool patterns because it's low maintenance. What that means is that when people come in and step into this rug, you won't see the dirt, you won't see the traction because people are wiping their feet off here, but the patterns kind of give this illusion that it's supposed to all blend together. Now that we've added the runner to the front foyer, now it's time to accent the space above the door. So I found this H, which represents my last name, at Hobby Lobby. It was priced at $20.99, but I actually got it for $9.99, I believe, because they were running a sale. They had um, some coupons online, so make sure that you always check the coupons online for Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of those arts and crafts store. Um, I added these two pieces of nails right here because it has two hooks. And it's just like a fun, it's just like a fun piece so that when your friends are exiting, they just feel like they can always come back. And I found this gold heart at a Hobby Lobby as well. And I really loved it. I mean, I love the gold accent. I love that it's like a 3D decor piece. It's not like your everyday type of decor piece. So I just wanted to add it right next to it. Now that we've added the runner and the accent pieces above the door, I still felt like some area of the front foyer was missing some sprucing. So I decided to find this Amazon piece of like, I guess it's like a dream catcher, but not really. Um, it was about 20 bucks. It arrived in two days, Amazon Prime members. And I just added a nail and just added this right here. So now that we have the boho sheet piece in place, I felt like it was still a little too boring. And so I wanted to add some greenery to just kind of bring some color into this area. So I just added this faux plant. I actually found this guy at TJ Maxx. He was about $60 and it actually came with the base. So I feel like now that I have the decor pieces over the door, I have a really nice runner, and even the boho chic piece right here, the greenery brings it all together and kind of brings some color, and it just brings some natural mother nature vibes into the home. 